are getting the solar panels set up. Well, Yoda's eating some grass over here. I have these uh, these little S brackets that um, that'll let me kind of sit the panels a little bit higher off the surface because there's like a there's like a dome on the top of the spinner roof. It's not totally flat, so this needs to sit higher off. And I'm hoping what I've got here standing off of it is going to be enough. Otherwise, we'll have to redo this whole thing. So, um, what I did is I got these extruded angle brackets made of aluminum. I got the, like the heavy duty one. These are like 50 bucks. How much were they? Were they 40 bucks a piece almost? Yeah. They're 8 foot pieces. The solar panels are 58 inches long and about 26 inches wide. So from edge to edge here is like almost 53 inches. And the tracks on the roof from center to center of the track is 52 inches. So this is gonna pretty much take up the, the exact amount of space that I'll need on the roof. So it was had to be pretty precise, but at the same time, like these can kind of turn side to side a little bit to adjust for for the spacing. So I've got these aluminum angle sitting under, so it's forming basically like a like a little holding bracket for the panels to sit on top of it. And I'm gonna put two rivets, two more rivets, and these little feet are drilled through the feet, through the bracket, and then through the frame of the solar panel. And then they're sandwiched together with a stainless bolt, washer, lock washer, and nut. And then I'm gonna do two rivets on each side. So four across here, four across there. I'm gonna make it like one solid unit. And then hopefully be able to hoist it up to the roof and drop it in there, see if it fits. So that's where I'm at. I've gotten the four corners done. I've gotten the holes drilled. Now I'm gonna drill eight more holes for these eight rivets to go through. And everything I'm using is either aluminum or stainless steel because you don't want it to rust. So one thing you gotta be really careful of when you drill from the bottom of the panel is to make sure you have something sitting behind there like a piece of wood. That way when you when your drill bit comes through, it doesn't go all the way through to the back of the solar panel. It'll probably shatter the glass. So just be careful when you do this. So now it's one big panel and I've connected them in series in the back. So to do that, you go negative, positive, and the positive connects to the negative and the other one. Now if I measure the voltage come out of these two panels set up in series. So I should be able to see about 45 to 46 volts. Okay. That's positive. And that's negative. 45 volts. Perfect. So now we just need to get these up on the roof. They have these flat, these flat nuts that slide into the bottom of the tracks so you put that in you put the bolt in through the top and that'll capture it in place and lock it in place
need to go up. There's a solar panel right on the roof. I left just about an, a little over an inch, looks like, of clearance between the front and the front fan. And you can see here's the uh, assembly of how it's fastened to the rail. There's just a little S bracket, and there's the track nut underneath, and then the six millimeter stainless hex bolt goes through with the washer and then also this rubber washer that came from Yakima. Make sure I have good clearance. The wires are underneath, I need to tidy that up. But other than that, it's a pretty low profile flush fit. Mm -hmm. 